how cute my little lady is. She's just hanging out with me, doing some work together. <laughs> All right, well, today has been interesting so far. Last night, around seven maybe, we lost power. And there was a massive like wind gust and the storm came in and it was raining a lot, but just really, really windy. Lost power, I was supposed to do a lot of homework last night. <laughs> Did it get done? New. No. And then today, we only got electricity back on around 10, 45 and then <laughs> my mom's right there 10 45 and then the wi-fi doesn't work so i'm trying to hotspot and it just said that it failed so i'm trying to deal with that so today is going to be an interesting day because we have four meetings and all my classes have a homework due tonight so here we go <laughs> today i am studying for my missy exam that is tonight i have quite large bags under my eyes because yesterday was the longest day i had like three like four quizzes actually and then like four meetings or something. I don't know. It's insane. So today we still do not have Wi-Fi. I am still using hotspot and I have my exam tonight and I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to try. So I'm just studying for it pretty much all day. And then I have a class right before the exam and then I have the exam tonight. So I'm feeling pretty good about the exam. I'm excited to, to take it and then hopefully get some other stuff done after the exam. The exam's from like five to seven. So I still have a lot to do. And I have another exam to study for, for Friday. So here we go. Today's mission is to prepare for my meetings later today. We're interviewing someone who might be a potential marketing intern for Upcycle Design, and I'm so excited. She used to live on my floor freshman year, so I know her a little bit, and so I'm really excited to talk with her more. She has like the perfect major to fit with what we're doing. She's like PR, marketing, and then fashion management. So I'm really, really excited to chat with her more. And then I'm talking to another uh, entrepreneurship student about sustainability. I don't know if you'd hear that, but that was my mom sneezing in the background. And what else? Oh, and I'm gonna have a call later with someone from BuzzFeed, who is the new channel head for a new channel called Cocoa Butter. I'm so excited to chat with her more. The new channel looks really, really cool. And yeah, I'm hoping to kind of pick her brain about how to do this whole YouTube thing, because I really have no experience <laughs> other than the last, you know, three months or so. So I'm really, really excited. Yeah, our mission for today is to, on one side, start studying for my marketing exam on Friday, and on the other side, it's to change around the level up class for tomorrow night because there definitely need to be some changes after last week. It was really hard because the students were on cell phones, so it was really hard to kind of, for them to see the screen because it was so small, and then because of that, they weren't super, super engaged just because I don't think they could read a lot of it. So we're gonna change it up to make it an hour. It was a ha an hour and a half. Now it'll be an hour because some of the students had to leave at seven, and we weren't aware of that. So now we're gonna switch it around a little bit, and hopefully, it will be much more hands-on and much more engaging and much more streamlined for tomorrow night. So that is the mission for today. And yeah, I'm really excited to finish this week out strong. This is the last week before Thanksgiving break and I'm just gonna crash face plant and not come up until after. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this day rolling. All right, so this is what I'm working on so far for the level up curriculum for tomorrow's class. So session two is focused on the entrepreneurial mindset. However, we had to change the class time from an hour and a half to an hour. So I think I'm gonna actually have to take out some of the lessons. So the first thing I go over is divergent thinking and then we do a divergent thinking exercise to kind of get the creative juices flowing, which I still really wanna keep in. And then we talk about a TED talk that I assigned for kind of like homework from last week and have a discussion about that. Then we go over the research from the last week as well. Based on what they're passionate about, they found three to five nonprofits that they would want to support. And then we're gonna make a list of those nonprofits and then as a group, choose one to support as a cohort and raise money and awareness for. Then we go into the entrepreneurial mindset lesson, talking about social entrepreneurship, resilience, muscle, all of this as well. And I think that that's a little long and that's what's gonna have to come out. So that is the current issue. 
and just trying to make sure that it stays within an hour and it's a lot more engaging than it was last week. Last week was much more passive and we're learning that we need to be super active. So yeah, let's see what I can do. All right, so I am so excited. Today is session two for Level Up, the program that we are doing and I'm really, really excited. Yesterday I moved around in part of today, moved around the whole class schedule. We have like I think five like activities for them to do, just different things like they're learning about divergent thinking and then we're learning about the entrepreneurial mindset this week. That is like the main thing that we're doing, but we're also choosing the nonprofit that the students will be supporting by raising awareness and money for them through the product that they make. So I just woke up, so I'm like all blah, but I've really been struggling this week with energy just because I had so many meetings and, and two exams. I still have an exam yesterday. There's Aurora in the background. Yesterday, tomorrow. <laughs> but I still really need to study for it. But right now I'm putting all my energy into making sure that I am prepped, ready to go, and pumped for these kids to get their energy levels up for this class. So I'm really excited, and this week is going to be better than the last. That's what we're, that's our goal. Let's do it. All right, we're going to an event right now, a virtual event with Wes Moore. I read one of his books, and I'm really, really excited to hear him speak more. So, yeah, let's go. Welcome, Wes Moore. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am so excited to be here with all of you. Delaware and, and, and Wilmington, y'all become the, the center of the universe. And, uh, and there's just a gravitational pull of goodness that is existing there that the whole world is cheering for. So I could not be more grateful and I cannot be more humble for the chance to be here uh, today with you all. All right, so I just jumped off the event with Wes Moore and it was, it's just, I'm all fired up now. He is just such an incredible speaker. I've read his book, The Work. He's written three books and oh my God, just such a great speaker. I haven't heard him speak live before. If he ran for president, I would campaign for him. I mean, he just is just so well-spoken, so thoughtful and like I'm such a big quote person and a bunch of stuff that he said I would write down quotes let me share some let me move you so I can see the quote there so one of them was none of us are asked to do everything but we are all asked to do something what is the role that you have in this moment and I really liked that so I wrote that down another one was none of us are asked to change the world alone but we are asked to do our part to change the world do your part and I, I love those so much that I included them into the class for tonight because I thought they were so powerful. And then he talked about stories promoting passion and moments become movements. Yeah, oh my God, it was just so impactful and it just really moved me and he's just such an incredible storyteller. Just, oh my God, I can't even speak well and, and verbalize everything well because I'm still processing how incredible he was as a speaker. So yes, definitely if you haven't checked out Wes Moore's books yet, check it out. I think a lot of his speeches are on YouTube. Just, oh my God, so, I'm so fired up right now. So let's go into session two of Level Up and let's fire some other people up too. Wow, it's like I have a ring light. I just put my lamp up so you could see me very clearly. So level up class two or session two as I'm calling it. I don't like calling the class is done. It was a lot of fun. We I tried to make it more engaging and the students chose the Sunday breakfast mission to work on homelessness as the nonprofit to support. So that was really, really exciting. And yeah, I think that the class went pretty well. There's definitely room for improvement. I need to find more and more ways to make it even more engaging, but it was was really fun it was only an hour this time and yeah I just really wish we could connect more with the students in person and get to know them because I know it's really hard to volunteer and stuff over zoom so we'll see but yeah class two when well definitely still room for improvement of giving them engaging things I think so anyway class two is done session two I keep trying to say the next one is in uh, two weeks and yeah, that's when we start designing. So I'm really excited. So tonight I still need to do a lot of studying for a marketing exam that I have tomorrow. And I haven't really started studying for it because I've been just nonstop busy. So let's get this studying show on the road. <laughs>